This is the Tin Man. It was the first attempt at a water exploration suit. The Tin Man was an aquatic suit made of tin. The boots were filled with lead to weigh it down, and the joints were designed to keep water out. However, this failed, but it did take us the first step. This is a spacesuit designed by NASA. It is designed more for use on space shuttles and on the space station than for use in outer space itself. It was cutting edge technology back in its heyday. Now let's take a next step in our space exploration. This is the lunar orbit suit. It was made by NPP Zevazada. No flight models were produced. It is an extra vehicular activity suit or an EVA suit, which with an operating pressure of 5.8 pounds per square square inch. It has a life support of 5 hours. This is the newest technology we have designed for spacesuits. It can have a tether so it is attached to the space station or space shuttle, whichever it happens to be attached to at said time. This is the Orlan MKS model made by NPP Zevazada. It was introduced in 2015, much like the Lunar Orbit suit. This too is an EVA suit. It has no more PSI than the Lunar unit, but it has a primary life support of 7 hours. This design is for a modular spacesuit. It has both male and female design, with pouches, boots, jet forward slash oxygen packs, and different helmets. This line would probably have complete customizability for whoever was using it. This is NASA's Doxis 37. This first one would most likely be a male design, while the other two on the right would most likely be a female design. This looks to be a great blend of futuristic technology with current day technology. This would probably be very successful. Finally, we come to Halo's EVA armor, also known as the Meta Armor. It resembles that of modern spacesuits with a futuristic twist. This unit has the ability to be equipped with a healing unit, invisibility unit, strength unit, and speed unit. This would allow the user to self-heal, turn invisible, have super strength, and go subsonic. This would require you having an internal oxygen pack, meaning it would work in outer space most likely. It has room for an AI port if we ever get those, which would be great. I have been BrickBot, thank you for watching, please check out some of my other videos.